Prince Henry Cliff Walk was one of the first walk systems created. The Prince Henry Cliff Walk is part of a wider track network that Council's hoping to create where we link existing tracks. So we will have to build some new tracks, but they will only be sections that link existing tracks. The Scenic Southern Escarpment is the southern escarpment of the Blue Mountains Tourist Precinct and we're wanting to brand it as such to not only take in Echo Point but other destinations such as Katoomba Falls and Carl's Lookout and Gordon Falls area. The Buttonshaw Bridge is a very important link in the Prince Henry Cliff Walk which is a State Heritage listed walking track. The Buttonshaw Bridge is a complex uh, piece of infrastructure in a natural area setting and the Buttonshaw Bridge behind us here was closed for three years, created a missing link in the track complex here. It's across a uh, 30 metre deep canyon with two big overhangs on either side and this required some geotech work to work out the distances that we needed to span across the canyon. This is a pretty unique location on the edge of a cliff within the Blue Mountains World Heritage Listed National Park. With the environmental branch getting the, the funding and the geotech reports, then we had uh, welding services completely fabricate the bridge off-site and then just brought in as a jigsaw. Yeah, well, the biggest challenge of the bridge was removing the old existing port in concrete built in 1935 bridge. It required some Tyrolean cables across the bridge to hang the workers off. Once the, uh, the bridge was removed, the concrete footings were poured on the edge of the cliff. And once this was done, we helicoptered a bridge in that was built off-site by Dean and Scott from Welding Services. This bridge was designed with the mesh floor so that it gave the walker that feeling of um, looking straight down over the canyon. The visitor's uh, experience has been enhanced with the new bridge. So the upgrade and renewal works from Katoomba Falls Reserve out to Cliffview Lookout, we've incorporated some fairly innovative features within the walking track. So we've incorporated under rail lighting so people can enjoy accessing the view at any time. The old section of the Katoomba Falls had some under rail lighting but they were big bulky boxes that used a lot of power. So we investigated the use of LEDs in the handrail and we found a very small vandal proof fitting that can have only low voltage running through the handrail rather than high voltage. It's more energy efficient and a lot safer. And it's been designed so that if there's any uh, damage to it, a panel can be removed and replaced quite easily and that the system can't be vandalised in between. With regard to the design, we obviously want things to comply with high safety standards and be safe for people and provide opportunities that people might not otherwise have in order to access natural areas. We saved a significant amount of money by having an in-house design management and delivery team. It's been designed so that it's easy to, to build, easy to maintain and will have a, a long lifespan. The Cars Lookout is actually uh, the westernmost extremity of the scenic southern escarpment, the westernmost lookout. It overlooks the Megalong and Canimbla Valley. So in late 2014 we had a wildfire that came through the reserve. Subsequently we closed the reserve so that prompted us to look at the way we were potentially going to redesign. So we've provided for greater access to people through removing uh, steps that we previously had in the reserve and providing a ramped pathway that comes down to the new Boar's Head lookout that looks out over Naranek Plateau as well as Boar's Head. It broadens opportunities for visitors to access this point. So part of the precinct upgrade here has included access to some of our really popular climbing and abseiling sites. Previously, as an earth track, we had a lot of problems with erosion and soil loss, so the opportunity to upgrade it and install stone steps and manage that sediment and erosion has made it have less impact on the environment and be a lot safer for people to access it. The Great Blue Mountains Trail come right past Carl's Lookout and a great place to stop and just survey the wonderful landscape behind. Grand Cliff Walk as a product will certainly offer a world-class experience to visitors close to Sydney. So it's a, an accessible product and really the infrastructure we're providing is enabling a greater number of people to visit the mountains and maybe stay a little longer. 
The upgrade of the walking track network also benefits local residents. It's a significant investment over a number of years to upgrade these tracks. The project and design and delivery team has been quite an integral part that Council's managed to have that in-house expertise in order to deliver the program of works. Oh, the result's fantastic. You, you only have to just come down for a walk yourself to see it. Mm -hmm.